Hook it up with verse 10. But which becometh women professing godliness with good works. It's talking about holy women yeah. mm -hmm. with a life that shows it or good works, which is a life that shows it. So I'm saying, brothers and sisters, we have to understand. Give me 1 Peter 3 and 3. We have to understand. Now, here's another thing. Uh, I saw Miss Myers over TV this morning. She had on her earrings again, her lips painted. Mm -hmm. Hair cut like a little boy. <laughs> <laughs> Fancy pants suit on. Oh, yeah. <coughs> Great big, I don't know what it was, gold. Roach. <coughs> Roach or whatever yes. you want to call it. Mm -hmm. <coughs> Fancy high heel shoes. Oh, yes. Heel all up. <laughs> oh, my goodness, she was styling. Yes. <laughs> Holy women don't style. Yeah, amen. <laughs> is in her holiness reflection of the character of Christ that makes her look so beautiful. Y'all see the beautiful daughters of Sun tonight? Amen. What a beautiful. Don't you know ain't no magazine can ain't no magazine can make them look that good. Amen. You don't have to stand before a makeup artist for an hour. Yeah. And then pay that person $150 for their work to make them look beautiful. Man. God make you look beautiful. Hallelujah. Yeah. You have to hold it. Who's adorning? Let it not be that outward adorning of plaiting the hair and of wearing of gold and of putting on outward of apparel. Outward adorning, Peter said, let it not be yes. the outward adorning of gold, wearing, wearing of, gold. of gold, which means expensive jewelry. Man. Well, literally, well, whether it's expensive or not, if it's fake jewelry, the Bible says avoid the appearance of evil. Amen. So if it's a fake, it's still wrong. Amen. Well, this ain't real gold. That's, it's still wrong. Amen. If you're wearing it for outward adoration, here's the point of driving home. Mm -hmm. When you artificially create a look for the public, that's artificial. In holiness, church, there's nothing artificial about God. Amen. Amen. Everything has to come from a clean heart. Yes. If the heart is clean, it will reflect outwardly. This is not taught in the Church of Christ. Amen. It's not taught in the Lutheran Church. Amen. It's not taught in the Episcopal Amen. Church. Amen. Why? Well, in 1 Corinthians 13, examine. 2 Corinthians. 2 Corinthians. Very quick, 2 Corinthians. Thirteenth chapter, yeah. chapter eight, right in verse five. Examine yourselves whether you be in the faith. And this is what I'm trying to express to everyone. You know by correct teaching whether or not you're in the true church or in a false church. Amen. So I'm saying by way of YouTube to those of you in the Episcopal Church, Church of Christ, Lutheran Church, non-denominational church, whatever church you're in that does not line up with the word of God, you are in a false church. Yes. And Paul gives a teaching here, examine yourself. Whether you be in the faith. Whether you're in the right church. Prove your own self. Prove your, how you going to prove your own self? By the word, by the word of God. Amen. By the Bible. Amen. Revelation 22. Mm -hmm. Amen. Uh, before we get to Revelation 22, drop off in 2nd. Thessalonians, I believe chapter 3. I want to make a very strong connection here. Now, why do we teach about fellowshipping with churches that are not proving themselves with the Word of God? Amen. Why do we? Why are we a set-apart people? Yeah. Are we set-apart because we just simply want to uh, be enemies to everybody? We, we, want, we don't want to be friendly with nobody? No, that's not the reason. We are a separated people because we do not want to contaminate the weak sisters or the weak brothers by it being influenced by a, a denominational church that is not bringing forth the truth. Amen. You know, some people can't be influenced by a dominant personality or they want to be just like that dominant personality. Right. This is why the false churches are so packed. 
because they are influenced by a crowd. Yeah. Never be a crowd follower. Amen. It's not about the crowd. Stress is the gate, now the way that needs to life and few there be that can find it. Only a few gonna make it in when it's all said and done. At the end of this journey, only a few gonna be saved. That we got to make up our mind that we're going to be a part of that few. Amen. Great. Second Thessalonians. Why are we a separated people? Verse 1. Finally, brethren, pray for us that the word of the Lord may have free course and be glorified. Pray that the word of God might have its free course. In other words, that it might be expressed freely. Yeah. I, I don't try to choke down the word yeah. because maybe someone will get offended and might not come back next week. Well, I hope you come back. But if you don't, praise God, I'm still going to preach the word. Amen. Amen. Because I've got to stand before the judgment seat myself. Right. And God said, why didn't you teach the people? Uh -huh. Well, Lord, I didn't want to hurt nobody's feelings. Depart from me, I never knew you. Get on Amen. Away. You coward, you get on the way. Amen. I ain't never called a coward to preach. Hallelujah. Praise God. When a preacher's called, God give him a backbone yes. Amen. to defend the faith. Now watch this. That the word of the Lord may have free course and be glorified even as it is with you, and that we may be delivered from unreasonable and wicked men. That the church might be delivered from unreasonable and wicked men. For all men have not faith. All men are not in the truth. Yes. Amen. Read. But the Lord is faithful who shall establish you and keep you from evil. He'll keep you from evil if you have a mind to be careful. But he cannot keep you if you don't have a mind to be careful. Amen. I said before, y'all listen now. This is an individual race. Amen. Nobody can run this race for you but yourself. Amen. You can't base your relationship with God on nobody else's relationship with God. Yes. And you can't be in love with something or someone so strong that will cause you to lose your own salvation. Right. 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 Listen, and I, let me tell you something. Don't you think God's going to feel sorry for you? Because God don't feel sorry for no fool. Amen. <laughs> it's a foolish person who will let somebody else that you know is wrong yes. or influence you against the true and living God. Yes. Right, Amen. Teach. 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 And we have confidence in the Lord. Touching you that ye both do and will do the things which we command you. Now, there's a command means some instructions going on here. Amen. Paul said, we have confidence. In other words, I believe in you, church, yeah. that you're going to do exactly what I instruct you to do. Amen. Now watch. And the Lord direct your hearts into the love of God and into the patient waiting for Christ. Now, in other words, when you get your mind right mm -hmm. and you tie it on now to holiness, yeah. now you got to wait. Now it's a waiting game. Yeah. Amen. This thing doesn't come overnight all of a sudden, boom. Yeah. Now you yeah. got to wait. Yeah. How long? You wait till yeah. God Time is right in your life. Right. Same with the blessing. When God is ready to bless you, he'll bless you, and not a moment before. Amen. And not a moment later. Amen. So the only thing you can do is wait on the Lord. Yeah. And be a good comfort to be the Bible says. Amen. Hallelujah. Now watch. Now we command you, brethren. Command you, church. In the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus. That ye would draw yourselves from every brother that walketh disorderly. Any yeah. brother that walketh disorderly, leave him alone. Amen. Now yes. listen. That is a commandment yeah. from God. Yes. This is why we will not fellowship with churches like this. Amen. I don't care how much they try Amen. to use a psychological factor. Uh -huh. Well, you know, we all read the same Bible. We've mm -hmm. got different interpretations, but God loves us all. And we all serve the same God. You take that back to the That's devil. That's right, right. Amen. 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 You want to walk with a homosexual, there's a reason for it. Yes. <laughs> you want to support a lesbian, there's a reason for it. Yes. Amen. Amen. If God rejected them and you love them, something wrong with you. Amen. Hallelujah. We command you, brethren, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, you to withdraw yourself from every brother that walketh disorderly. And not after the tradition which he received of us. Not after the instructions the apostles gave the church, and the apostles gave the church the instruction that homosexuality and lesbianism, men with men and women with women, yes. was against nature. Yes. Amen. Now let me show you something again. Withdraw yourself. Leave him alone. Amen. Give me 1 Kings 11th chapter. Let's, okay. let's make this connection. How clear is this? 1 Kings 11. Jump right in at verse 2. 
Of the nations concerning which the Lord said unto the children of Israel, 